Hello, I'm Claire Bowen and today I'm going to do a plein air oil painting of a busy boat marina. Early morning and checking out my subject. I'm using an 11 by 14 open box M pochard and a pallet garage to hold my paints. Rosemary & Co and Pro Art brushes in a bamboo roll and then this is an 11 by 14 prime board with a tint of burnt sienna on it. I checked out the boat the day before and done a sketch of it to plan the composition. I don't always do this but it helps with new and complex subjects. Using burnt sienna and yellow ochre I mark out the parameters of the subject to make it fit on the board. and make sure the angles and perspective of the boat is right. You can see the sun hasn't hit the foreground boat yet, but it's coming. So I take that in consideration when I mix my colours and tonal versions of them. Start off with ultramarine and burnt sienna, which is a neutral dark. Ultramarine Maple Yellow Light and Scarlet Lake. Cobalt Blue and Naples Yellow Light and a little Scarlet Lake. Cerulean, Naples and Titanium White. Cobalt Teal and White. Permanent Rose and Scarlet Lake. Cadmium Yellow and Scarlet Lake, which make a great orange. Cadmium Yellow with a little bit of that red mix in and the white, so it's a warm yellow. Lemon yellow and white, so you've got a cool yellow. And finally, Naples yellow and white. So now I'm going to look for shapes of dark blues, not worrying about the subject, just massing in the darker areas.
and I make the colour browner or bluer so that's warmer or cooler as I go. Doing this gives a framework and foundation to start the painting. Painting the light water next to the boats gives me an idea of tonal values and whether it's working with the lightest lights and darkest darks next to each other. Also, I graduate the blue water so it mirrors the light to dark sky. I paint the sky and the water at the same time because they're reflecting each other and I want to make sure that they are relating. The sky is a little bit lighter in tone. Now it's the putting the warm roof in. It's in the light, so checking the tonal value, not making it too dark. And then using the similar mix of that for the background, and putting a little bit more uh, white in and cooling it down with the blue. Back to the dark blues and I draw in with the brush to get the boat shapes. Also putting in the other blue shapes I can find, making sure they're a little bit different in colour or tone so they don't blend into each other. Each shape is blocked in without much fine lines at this stage, just a series of shapes like a mosaic. So mixing a warm light for the hull of the boat. The front is now in full sunshine. I also look for other areas of a similar colour to put in.
One of the rules to reflections are the lights are darker in a reflection and the darks are lighter. So the hull is light and therefore the reflection is darker. It has mo more blue and orange added. Accents of a warm orange red. This is a complementary to blue, which helps a composition. Also, putting it in more than one place as well is good. Adding some thicker, lighter paint to make sure the lightest light show up. This helps to refine the shapes as well. Also putting in some lighter blues for the windows on the boats. Scraping some paint to make way for a new mix so I don't muddy the colours. Just looking for areas to fill and simplify and refine. The hill at the back is a green-grey and putting this in helps with the stack of boat masts having something to work around them. I 
I won't put all the masks in as it would look cluttered and messy. I just choose the best ones for the composition. The top of the hill is a little cooler at the top. I'm putting in the railings in the foreground and making them quite dark as this gives a feeling of space and going back. Just refining the shapes as well. Making sure they're straight and things like that. I thought that the red life raft needed a bit of work. It needed to be bigger because it was in the foreground. just adding some small tonal differences to areas. Using a rigger brush for lines on the boat to get some definition and also putting in some more masks as well. Filling in any gaps, last minute looking at the painting to see if it works as a whole. So there it is, a busy marina scene. I hope you enjoyed it and found it interesting. Remember, please subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more videos like this or head over to my Instagram to see my work. Thank you.